The trees in Richmond Hill cover approximately 25% of the town and provide countless benefits to the people that live, work and play here. A healthy urban forest can improve air quality, conserve water, increase wildlife habitat and connect people with nature. In Richmond Hill, we're committed to managing our resources wisely. This includes caring for and protecting our natural environment. The emerald ash borer, or EAB, is an invasive insect which is threatening to kill all of the ash trees in Richmond Hill. Experts believe this tiny metallic green beetle, native to China and Eastern Asia, was accidentally introduced to North America from imported wood packaging and crating material. Since it was first discovered in the Detroit and Windsor areas in 2002, EAB has killed millions of ash trees in southern Ontario, parts of Quebec, and the northeastern United States. It is present in Richmond Hill and is quickly spread throughout York Region. EAB targets all species of ash trees. Over the summer months, emerald ash borer beetles lay their eggs on the bark of ash trees. When the eggs hatch, the larvae tunnel under the bark to feed. These tunnels cut off the flow of water and nutrients, causing the tree to die. In this video, you'll learn how to identify an ash tree, the signs of EAB infestation, what Richmond Hill is doing to manage trees on public property, and what you can do to help. Ash trees are widespread on both public and private property throughout Richmond Hill. The third most common tree in town, ash trees make up about 12% of our tree cover and are an important part of our local ecosystems. Ash trees can be identified by looking at the leaves, which are compound and contain 5 to 11 finely toothed leaflets. The branching pattern of ash trees is also distinctive because the buds and stems grow directly opposite from each other along branches. The bark on mature trees is tight and rough and often has a diamond pattern. In addition, ash trees have seeds that are oar-shaped and hang down in clusters. Signs of physical damage caused by the emerald ash borer include Canopy dieback, which means that a tree will have fewer and smaller leaves than it had in previous years. S-shaped tunnels beneath the bark where larvae have fed. D-shaped exit holes in the bark from where adult beetles have emerged from the tree. These holes are very small, only 3.5 to 4 millimeters in size, and can be difficult to spot. And leaves with a ragged appearance caused by the feeding of adult beetles. Other indicators of EAB infestation might include cracks in the bark, shoots growing from the trunk, or heavy seed production. EAB will have a significant impact in our community. To help manage this invasive insect, Richmond Hill has implemented an emerald ash borer management strategy for trees on public property, which aims to reduce the significant aesthetic, environmental and financial impacts associated with the emerald ash borer. Town staff are monitoring ash trees along streets and in parks to ensure that infested trees are removed before they become hazardous. We're also treating some of the largest and healthiest ash trees along streets and in parks with triazin, an insecticide which is injected directly into the trunk of the tree and taken up through the tree's tissue. It does not pose a health risk to people, pets or wildlife and degrades naturally. To be effective, it must be re-injected every two years. Residents may notice that some ash trees along streets and in parks have been marked with a metal tag and white paint, which indicates that they are being treated. Our urban forest is an important part of our community. To help slow the spread of EAB, town staff began removing infested ash trees along streets in the spring of 2012, allowing us to start planting new trees as soon as possible. A new tree of a different species will be planted wherever an infested ash tree has been removed. We'll also be planting more trees in our natural areas to help make up for lost ash trees in woodlands and forests. Ash trees on private property are the responsibility of the property owner. Once a tree is infested, it can quickly become hazardous and cause personal injury or property damage. If you have an ash tree on your property, you're encouraged to consult with a professional arborist. These tree care professionals can be found in the yellow pages or local business directories. Be sure to ask about options for tree protection, tree removal and tree replacements and get multiple cost estimates for any tree work. If you plan on removing an ash tree from your property, remember to abide by Richmond Hills Tree Preservation Bylaw, which requires that you obtain a permit before removing the tree. 
Permit fees for ash tree removals will be waived for the duration of the emerald ash borer management strategy, approximately 8 to 10 years, but an application must still be submitted to obtain a permit. We can all do our part to help slow the spread of EAB by buying and burning wood locally. On its own, an adult beetle can only fly up to 10 kilometers, but hidden in wood materials such as firewood, logs and nursery stock, it can travel vast distances. For more information about the emerald ash borer, what the town is doing and what you can do to help, visit richmondhill.ca slash EAB.